My wife of four years cheated on me with a co-worker. Me, 27-year-old male, and wife, 26-year-old female, cheated on me with her co-worker. A little background, my wife and I have a daughter who is just under a year old, and she means the world to us. Since we've had our daughter, obviously, things have changed or been difficult, which I don't think is new. We both work. However, our schedules are somewhat opposite. For example, I work at... Sometimes I work across time zones, so I might need to work earlier or later, depending on the situation. She works in the afternoon, so we've really been struggling with having the time to see each other or really connect. Bring it to D-Day. My wife went on a long work trip. Towards the end of the work trip, she texts me and called me ultimately. She told me the morning after that she had slept with her co-worker the night before. She was drunk and it had only happened once. They were out of town for a work trip and staying in the same house rental. She immediately came home as soon as she could, barring immediate work responsibilities. I know the guy that she slept with and had made general comments in the past around him and generally did not trust him. They had somewhat flirty texts, but in general it's a casual work environment so I let it slide. Since then, I have gone through everything I can think of. I only found two deleted text messages, one from that night and one from in the morning. Both were generally saying, come here. One sexually from the night before and one the day after to basically talk about the situation and to not tell anyone. Regarding work and financials, I make about 10-12x what she does. We don't need the money, and I think it would genuinely benefit our relationship for her to quit and either stay at home or find a similar job somewhere else. When I bring this up, she gets very defensive and pushes back on any changes that I propose. Was this really only a one-night stand? Am I out of line for asking her to quit? Complete NC would be impossible, and there would be many work trips. Am I delusional for thinking there could be more? Apologies if this isn't very well typed out. I'm not a great writer. Edit. I don't think I made this clear before. I asked her to quit, as well as other, probably delusional, changes like staying in a different hotel, not being in the same work group, and not going out for drinks with co-workers when he's around, etc. Edit 2. I'm almost 100% positive. It is my daughter. We tried one time and had her the first try. Tracking cycles whole nine. It would be highly improbably that she wasn't mine. Second thing is where she works does not have HR or anything. She's technically an independent contractor. Update, I told her parents. I told her that either she would have to tell them today or I would. She refused, so I called them and she ran and tried to pack her stuff up and take our kid. I refused to let her leave with our kid. Earlier, I had her write down all the events, and she did stick to her story, however, the day after I caught her in multiple mistakes, which are also written down, because this was the day that she told me, and I remember each phone call and where she was vividly. I also had her agree to sign a postnuptial agreement, however, I still need to draft it. If anyone has any resources, please message me or post them here. I somewhat feel relieved as this feels like the first time in a long time I've stood up for myself in our relationship and actually followed through with it. I appreciate everyone's advice. I have my first therapy session Saturday and hers on Tuesday. There's even more messed up crap, but that's all I got for now. Wow. It's always... It's always the coworker, man. <laughs> it's always the coworker. Four years married down a drain. And I know some people would say it was only four years, you know. I don't care if it was four days. He decided to marry this woman, which means he trusted this woman. And she spits in his face. And it's always with the co-worker. I'm glad you told her parents. And you tell your parents or I'm going to tell them. Expose it to everybody. 
Because here's the thing. You don't want them to go run off and give the narrative. Oh, he did this to me or he did that. So he forced me to cheat. You know what I mean? Or she might lie and say you cheated and have everybody believe in it. You're not out of line for asking her to quit. You're out of line for trying to work it out. <laughs> you know, like, seriously, like, it, it's over, man. Once somebody cheats on you, it, it's they have no respect for you. The respect is gone. You know, you had mentioned you make 10 to 12 times more money than she does. And, you know, she can quit her job and you know, she can stay at home because you can take care of her. Like, uh, you know what? I just thought about it. That situation, though. You make more than her, you get her to quit her job, she does it again, and this time, she is not begging you to stay, because she's begging you to stay because you have the money. But next time, she cheats, she's, she's just going to divorce you, because she wins. She gets alimony, she gets everything, she gets the house too. Here you are, you should have got rid of her when you could. Get rid of her while she has the job. She has a job, sir. I don't need to pay her anything. Now, I don't necessarily know how alimony works. They may say, oh, you make way more than her, so you have to pay. I don't know how that works exactly. Maybe a good lawyer could help. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, dude. You got to get rid of her now. Do your best to get rid of her now, and it's over. It's over. There's no surviving this. <laughs> There's no surviving this. Guys, let's check out another story. My fiance broke my heart. Me 30-year-old male and fiance 30-year-old female has been texting her coworker very sexually for months now. I have been feeling a strong emotional and physical disconnect from her for months as well. I've brought it up many times, but it's always her hormones or stress, which I 100% agree. We both have very stressful, high-paced jobs, and also two young boys, five and six. I decided I'll check her phone just to see. I've never felt a disconnect like this between us, and she always used to be all over me and over the top lovey and touched, so this is far out of character for her. Lo and behold, I see messages going back to February to her 47-year-old male married co-worker. It won't let me attach images, so I'll just try to highlight the main concerning texts, which is nearly all of them. It started off because she's into smut books, if you will, and he apparently writes smut short stories. She read him, an excerpt from one of her book. He felt the need to text her, one of his short, super dirty stories. She replies to this saying it's hot and he's a good A writer. Couple messages go by and he's making obviously but subtle sexual comments to her saying, Oh, how did they get a camera in my room to write those books? There's too much to repeat all the messages, but to highlight he keeps making comments sexual in nature. She replies to one about a sex dungeon saying, if you had a room like this one in the hook, I'll bend over. To which he says, not anymore, I'm married. She says something, then he says, I didn't say I was happily married. More conversation, then he says he has bad knees, but that doesn't mean he still doesn't get his heart rate up. She says, I have a bad back, we would do great together. He says, I would get a swing to swoop you off your feet. Insinuating a sex swing, she says, Talking about swings and have one at home. Collecting dust as we speak. Sex swing. A lot of inappropriate conversations happen for months. A few more key things is they have a quiet room at work. It's like a single person small room with one couch for employees to go relax and unwind at. Totally isolated and hidden from plain view. A lot of messages about meeting together in the quiet room. He says, I would never knock on that door unless I knew who was in there. She says, if it's our break time, you know it's me. He says, it's super cute she called it our break time. And that he needs written permission to enter the room while she's in there. 
She replies, A, and says that he can come in the room anytime he wants if she's in there. Fast forward to next shift, all she sends is a time, 1730. And he says, as always, then she says, good boy, that was your written invitation. I've also met this dude once at her co-worker's party. He sat right next to my fiance. I sat across the table and I noticed with five minutes of meeting this guy that something was suspicious. He was openly being flirt right in front of me so much so that I texted my friend and said, I don't like this guy that's sitting next to my fiance. He's scheming, sent that message as this was going on in front of me. This happened after the messages were sent about going to his private sex dungeon and gun sweeping her off her feet with a sex swing. But the event took place months ago before I knew these messages existed. My fiance claims nothing has ever happened physically between them. The messages are leading me to highly suspect otherwise. She has no excuse other than she doesn't know what happened and what she was thinking. She's extremely apologetic and has him blocked now. I reached out to this guy's wife and his wife has no idea about this whole situation and says that this guy has cheated be prior to this. Our relationship has been extremely healthy and she's my, or was, my dream come true. I never expected this. What would you do? Would you call off the wedding? I feel like this is cheating and I know I will never be able to get over this and trust her again 100%. She's apologetic beyond belief, has blocked him and said anything I need, she will do. She still works with this guy and always will. I'll always have doubt about her now and am worried she will do it again. If I wouldn't have caught it this time around, it would have continued for God knows how long and probably went even further the way things were escalating. Is this cheating? And there it is, the co-worker. Wow, wow, wow. Always the co-worker. Look, man, you're asking, is this cheating? <laughs> Duh, yes, it's cheating. What do you mean, is it cheating? How is it not? I don't care. So some people would say, oh, if it's not physical, then it's not cheating. If it's just flirting, that's okay. I even read, it was an article and there were people making comments in the article. Is flirting okay? And the people that were saying flirting is, is wrong. Why would you flirt with, the, with someone else behind your husband's back or your wife's back? Why would you do that? It's cheating if you won't do, you know, you won't do that in front of them. And if you do it in front of them, it's disrespectful. People were going in on this person. You're insecure. It was a guy. It was a guy who said it's wrong. And people were saying, you're insecure. It's just flirting. It's not the end of the world. You must be a Gen Z or something. They were going off on this guy. And he corrected them. He's like, I'm not a Gen Z. I'm this age. He was an older guy. But he's like, it's completely wrong. No, what are you talking about? Those and, and it wasn't just women. It were men too. You're wrong for thinking this. A little flirt, there's nothing wrong with it. She didn't cheat on you. Ridiculous. Let's check out the comments on this one. To each their own, but I sure as heck wouldn't marry her. Cheaters lie and they minimize and she's doing both. Mm-hmm. Sorry, brother. They had motive, opportunity, and time. It's on her to prove that she didn't physically cheat. And by the way, I believe she actually did. Everything you've posted points to 100% physical in my book. Get your kids DNA tested. At a minimum, it shows just how much the wayward wife has effed up the relationship. There's no way in HE double hockey sticks you should marry her. In fact, you should probably be looking for a new place and a lawyer at, at this point. Absolutely. I'm sorry, but she definitely had a physical affair. Do you think they met in the chill room at work just to hold hands? Right. <laughs> right. 
Dude, at minimum, you need to tell her she is not your fiance. At best, she's back to your girlfriend or even FWB, friends with benefits. But let her know fiance is virtually impossible as she flunked the fiance exam. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a fancy wedding more than you. Mm, you know it. And she's lying. Want a family? Tell her goodbye today. She knows what happened. And crap happened. Yep. Here's OP right here. She absolutely made it easy for him. He literally baited her and she went hook and she went hook, line, and sinker for his dumb tactics. I even told her that. I even told her that, and she claims she didn't realize how bad it was until now when I've been reading her the messages. She claims she has no recollection of why she did it and doesn't even bother sending any of these. It's just weird and sounds like a terrible, terrible lie, and you know it is, OP. The texts are very damning and extremely concerning, and if I could post them, and you could read actual conversation. It's extremely bad. But you hit the nail right on the effing head, dude. I appreciate your feedback immensely. You should post those texts. Guys, let me know what you think about both stories in the comments. I'm catch you guys at the next one.